Notion have just completed one of their most significant updates in a long time, how we view, use and share information in databases and it's so much better. Hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome or welcome back to Better Creating. Here's a breakdown of everything you need to know, plus some great examples within my complete Notion setup of how you can make the most of the new Notion power that's at your fingertips. Now the first exciting thing about the new databases is it's easy to simplify their views. So here you'll see a gallery view that I created, uh, which is filtered by the name of the entry in the database being empty to make an inbox for my wider system. And this is my journal. What I used to do here, this is the database title, which you'll see isn't showing on these other two inboxes. You can now hide that database title. So if you click onto the database title, you can then hide. So if I hide that, it simplifies the view. But what's more exciting for existing users of this system, there's like thousands of you that may be using my complete life OS as a basis, is that I used to call this in a way to make this look nice by the title of a, an emoji using the function button. Now we can hide it. I think it might be useful for people to consider replacing that with the name of the database, click through to the database, call it journal, go back, you'll see that what I think is a bit of a big and ugly view, hide it, and then in the uh, tab name, if we can then click on there and rename it, from here, click on symbols and name it either just with the symbol or even better, new specific direction to the type of view that you're using. So that is how I'm doing that. But it gets better than that. We now could put all of these into one linked database view of different databases. So here's a really practical use of this ability to do multiple tabs of different databases in a view. So all of these views here are set up as uh, create linked databases. And then these views here link to my task list. And on this side, I have uh, my favorited projects, which are filtered by uh, one rule, which is where favorite is ticked. If we add a view, we're going to make the source projects. We're going to click on the little dots so we get the menu of what we want to do. Click on table and we're going to select gallery. Down here, you've got a way to kind of manage the look of things now all in one place, which I really like. So I'm going to hide the database title from there. There's lots of places you can do this. I'm going to make the card preview the page cover because it looks a lot better. And I'm going to make the size small so there's a little bit more space to fit it. And these are all my example projects. Pretty simple. If we go back from layout, we're going to select uh, properties that we want to see. And I would like to see, for example, current live tasks. That's a little report that I have. And maybe I'll put the next review date. Let's now go to filter. We're going to click on filter. Now I'm going to add an advanced filter so that I'm absolutely sure that it's always set. I'm going to do where favorite in my system, which is a checkbox, is checked. And it will only show the things that I've ticked as checked. Simple. There we go. Now I need to click save for everyone because what that means is it will create this so that if I'm working in a team, this system will only ever look like that for everybody. It will always be the base level. And finally, we're going to go up to the title, rename it by going up to edit emoji and symbols. And I want to find my little icon I use and we're going to call it. And there you go. My projects view is also now in this this week view. Now, if you want to see a really great example of this in action, if I now go to my home screen and take you through to my content creation manager, this is my system here, I've got a really extensive use of these tabs where I filtered a view of the content projects that I create. Here are my content channels. It's a view of my projects page filtered by anything that relates to the content manager. And then next to it, a list of live clients. I really recommend that as another update if you use my system on the uh, complete Notion template. If we go to the equivalent uh, page, uh, you'll see I've got those in separate views. So if you wanted to merge these, you could just copy this and place it into this and re-label this so that it's like 
channels and clients or contacts or whatever you want. And for you guys out there who are wanting to make more of database views, you could now put all of your views of specific information into one linked database view. If you're unsure what a linked database is, do forward slash create and that will link to any existing database and show you a view of it. Simple. So if you're new to the channel and like the look of my setup, check the playlists for loads more build tutorials and Notion productivity ideas. Bing! So this is my second brain system where I capture anything I've read, watched or listened to that inspired me. Now you'll see, again, I'm using the uh, uh, the tabs here to show the different views and I'm using the grouping feature to reveal things like what I'm currently reading or watching and stuff that I wouldn't, I'm yet to read, things I've captured and love, the bibliography of inspiration and uh, stuff that I've archived. However, this stuff here may not be as needed these days with the new uh, filter system. If I go to my main system page, so this is literally everything we can do really quick uh, filters. So if I just filter by, let's say, status, and I just want to look at stuff that's live and consuming, and I might add another filter, and I want to filter by author, and I just want to find Tim Ferriss. That is now how quickly I can find things. Using these new filters actively day to day is a really brilliant solution. Where this gets really exciting though is in saving filters for yourself. So I used to run my notebooks page like this, it's still great, but with these new features we can do different things. I had a view for example for priority, uh, live notes uh, and then notebooks down the side. But in fact we can just do all of that with filters now. So I've created a new view in my all live notes and I'm actually just going to call it all notes. Let's add a new filter and we're going to filter by note status. I can add another filter, subject tags. If I just leave those there, nothing happens. I can leave them ready to go if I wanted to. I could save them for everyone and they exist for everybody now as options. This is the cool bit. So now I can just click on this, click priority notes that I want to see. I'll only see priority notes and reset. Or I might want to go just by subject tag. I only see stuff by that subject tag, reset. And we can do this for endless options. So we can save to everyone on two levels. One, we can save just open filters or sorts, it would be the same with sorts, or we can save filters that are already filtered. So if you wanted to create a view for say one part of your team that worked in marketing, you can do that by setting up that in that system and so on and so forth. You could also create a view of this exact page in another linked database and have them synced and it's the same view. So if you manage a team, you might want to set filters uh, for people and then save it for everyone. But equally, individuals can look and not mess up the overall sort or filter within a system. Pretty amazing where things are going in the Notion space at the moment. I'll be covering more ways to use their new updates over the year, along with other great tech tools and ideas on simplifying productivity and creative life. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And if you're still here, well, you just have to watch one of these videos next for more on Notion setup tips and inspiration that I think you're gonna love.